Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It is about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes, I've found Stowe and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are. Together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Abkos and Friesweed have angered many. Let us hope the Compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let us go over all that has happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother-in-arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Friesweed. She was the leech, and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rep to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well, this one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, Stowe? We know the compass is a sailor, a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back, but we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! Abel! <coughs> Make for the steeple! my stone. We've many years yet. Come on!
of this inferno! I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The Compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springles and Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I want those Springles on our side. I will follow you, Stowe. Up on the ramparts. We'll redirect their fire. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Ed King. Count on it. Follow me to the ramparts, Abel! They'll have no chance! enough to fall an ocean. Will none of you lift a finger to aid your master? We walked into the spot! Suffer!
think! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Boudicca was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shit house. So bright and beautiful set of flame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave churning tides. We are that tide. Drenger we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. 
We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. I, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. around me. Let's tell her the good news. because you all have such good days. Now... I'm off. Be well, friend. Now, this... This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading ancient tomes and deciphering the secrets of the desert. Together they had a son, in whom they hoped to instill all their skill and knowledge. The boy was to be a union of their love. But then it came to pass that the king of that land arrived to seize the temple for himself. The Protector resisted. In the battle that followed, the boy was killed and the temple was taken. Struck with grief, the Protector and the Scholar separated. A king who kills a child is an Ergi. They should kill him back. Indeed. But for a long time, the Protector and the Scholar followed solitary paths, seeking for a way to revenge their son. But in their isolation, they found only anguish and pain. 
alone, they could do nothing but weep and thrash at the fates. After many fruitless years, they came together again to mourn their failure. They embraced as they had in their youth. And in that joining, they realized what was missing. Only the union that had produced their son would lead to their victory. So the Protector taught the Scholar to fight and ride and seek, while the Scholar taught the Protector wisdom and deep knowledge. As they trained and studied, they became inseparable, moving, eating, sleeping as one. They were never seen apart. Until one day, they met upon the river's edge. They had learned all they could. Her from him. Him from her. It was here they kissed and separated. She traveled east. He west. They were never seen again. It is said, however, that once every year, two eagles would return to that very spot to linger and look upon the sea. The people of the region like to see these eagles, for they are an omen, a symbol of protection. They turned into birds, like Loki became a salmon. Perhaps. Still, others say that the eagles were their children, born of a love that could never endure. But who is to say for sure? A stirring story. Fanciful, but sincere enough. Me? Fanciful? All of my stories are perfectly and mostly true. Good day. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I should talk to Hytham. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. You are a good boy. I should speak with Hytham. Have you brought me anything? The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. 
And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another bludge on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you. After I silence got him. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. That's a damn fine stable. I have something new to show you. What have you got for me today? Do you need anything else? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Nothing more today. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Bye, Eivor. I've been saving these just for you. I would like to see what you have in stock. You should buy that. I'll be sure to keep these in stock for you. Go on, give it a try. This 
looks practically in bait for you. I'm practically giving it away. Only a true warrior can pull that off. An excellent purchase. Is that everything? I must take my leave. So long. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. The Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chael Bet hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chael Bert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupsha. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
see, Sunan. Like you never have a brand shipment on us. Smells good, that. Sweet there you go, young man. Curse this <laughs> war. I'm a bit drunk. Say your thanks, but... Thank you, man. Be fierce, dirty, strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace, ever since we captured his sniveling brother Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goria that Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet welp installed, 
That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be Elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. <laughs> Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Aeneo, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dealov. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold! Both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, Peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. I think 
His talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotary and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. Lady Young Haddad, take this silver. Do what you can to calm your husband. I shall. The Kingdom of Gwynedd thanks you. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Lady Young Harrod will use the silver to bolster the royal treasury. That will reassure and calm Rodri. Ah, a wise woman indeed. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eivor, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Ivar. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. Yeah! They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Bishop Deolav and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Deolav, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. <laughs> Captain and... Yes, Bishop... The king is... The... Uh, Hold! Now is the peak. Now you know. I will. Husband. First. Husband. Enough. I. D it may be too late. I have a.
King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Ab Kadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tiny sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. And here. You again. What of the silver you spoke of? You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Ah, enough of this nonsense! Guriat, are we in league, Dane, to buy me a throne? What say you? I will see about the silver. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. Guriat. Are we in league, Dane? To buy me a throne? What say you? Take the silver. Depose your brother, and you will rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself, by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eva, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? 
Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Just Do leave him already! Yeah, I won't need the silver now. Viva! What have you done? Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
let Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed, you boneless flap of leather! Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. <laughs>